Hi, it's Lindsay Conrad, and today I'm talking about Chapter 9 in Multiple Pathways to the Student Brain by Janet Nay Zadina. I thought it would be easier to make a video for this chapter because it's so encompassing of what the whole book has been about and really what it has meant to me. And one of the things that I took away from this chapter is mainly what the chapter itself is about, the big picture. Um, so much of education today is so heavily focused on curriculum and assessment that we forget the impact of the brain and how we learn. And even as adults, it's so important to understand how we learn and how we can adapt to the materials that we're learning. Um, the chapter starts with physiology, um, you know, the sex differences in learning, which we know there really isn't a difference and there's no way to really tailor a curriculum or any type of classroom activities to certain genders. Um, sleep, fuel, exercise, you know, these are things that us teachers really, we can't control, but we can certainly educate our parents and we can certainly make the community aware of how important these things are. And we can be models ourselves as teachers for students by choosing healthier snack choices, um, you know, allowing brain breaks during the day or just self-talk and saying, oh, you know, I've had a lot of work today. I think I'm gonna take a little, a few balloon breaths. Does anyone wanna join me? Um, that way it's kind of their choice, and but you're also modeling behaviors that are healthy choices that they could make in their own lives. Um, <clears throat> at the very end, <clears throat> excuse me, at the very end it says, we should determine interventions that enhance plasticity and exercise appears to do that. You know, despite PE and recess, we should be implementing exercise into the classroom, you know, either through a few yoga stretches or allowing the class to run the track for one lap and then come back into the classroom, depending on what the school has available. Um, these are all things that I love to implement into my classroom and the book seems to agree. Um, and then within curriculum and assessment, understanding how important the arts is, how important physical education is, and especially music. Um, I myself was never really into music and I don't play any instruments, but I do understand how important it is for children and the brain and creating cognitive pathways and how it can help them learn in primary education. Um, you know, hopefully, administration and higher ups, we can find a way to present this research that shows them that these resources are important and I certainly value them with my kids. And, you know, in VPK, we're so fortunate to have art, we're fortunate to have music and physical education built into our schedule, even um, Jewish studies, because we're a Jewish school and a Jewish community. Um, but a lot of schools are still lacking those resources and specific teachers that can teach those resources. Um, <clears throat> it talks about early childhood and creating uh, a very stimulating environment. And unfortunately, we limit early childhood to pre-K when really it should be extending itself through kindergarten and really even into first grade. Unfortunately, in grade school, they just get slammed with curriculum and assessing students, but play is so important. Um, and because this book talks about it so much, I've even put thought into what I would put into a grade school classroom that can help the children play, and but would also allow them to learn and be on par with curriculum and assessment. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed reading this book because it opened up so many other doorways um, that really just don't get talked about in, in professional development. It's in early childhood, we certainly learn about child development, but this book just goes so much deeper into the brain and how what we do in early childhood affects their entire grade school experience and even for the rest of their lives. Um, the chapter that was on bullying and how bullying can impact the rest of their life in terms of stress and the physiological damage it can do to the body. Um, 
that was very impactful for me to read. So overall, I'm really appreciative for reading this book. It makes me more knowledgeable as a teacher, but also more knowledgeable about my students and connecting them, connecting with them on that relationship level and how I can help educate parents as well to create successful students and increase academic achievement. So thank you.